Hey everyone, this is Jack McGavick, your tech design coach, and this video is going to show you the step-by-step -step process for cross-listing courses in Blend. Um, so we're going to pretend that I'm an eighth grade science teacher, okay, and I teach a bunch of regular sections of science, but my third and fourth period are inclusion classes, and so um, in the beginning of the year, the district or teams pushed out some courses to my dashboard here, and it basically separated them out in ways that didn't really make sense for how I teach. So in my third and fourth period, um, all those kids are in there getting mostly the same content. So I want them to all be in one course in Blend so that if I create something in here, um, all my kids will get it. Um, as it is right now, I would have to create something and put it in this course and then put it in this course for all my kids to have access to it. And that's just an added hassle and I don't want to deal with that. So the solution for this is, is called cross-listing, where basically I'm just moving kids all into one course if they're receiving the same content. Um, so the very first step to cross-listing is just something you have to do mentally, which is decide which course is going to be the parent course where all your students are going to live. Um, in this case, my regular is going to be my parent course. I'm going to have all the kids live in this course. That makes this other course, the inclusion one, we're going to call that the child course. Okay, I'm going to take sections out of this class, and I'm going to move them over here so that they're all housed in one place, just easier for me. All right, so once I designate that in my mind, I'm going to open up my child course. In this case, it's inclusion. I'm going to right-click on it. I'm going to open it in a new tab, and I'm going to go down to the bottom of the page, click on Settings, and you'll see across the top this menu, I want the sections. Sections essentially mean periods, so you can tell from looking at this, I have Inclusion 03 is for third period, Inclusion 04 is for fourth period. On your screen, you'll have users in here, which are the kids. You'll have actual enrollments. I don't. Um, but I'm just pretending that I do. So that's why I, I have different numbers here. But anyway, I want to move these two out of this one into my regular course so that I can give them all the same stuff without a hassle. Here's the thing. If I move both of these sections out of here right now, then this course will disappear from my Blend account, and I won't be able to find it again. Maybe I'll never need it again, but maybe I will someday want to split them back out for some reason, and I don't want to do something that I can't undo later. So this is a little tricky step I have to do first. Basically, I need to make a dummy section, a placeholder section, what we're going to call an anchor section, that will just allow me to hold on to this course even when I move my kids out. So I'm going to add a new section, click here, and I'm going to type in anchor section. You could really call it anything that you want. Placeholder, whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm going to add it. But that's not all. Okay, it's not all. I made it, but there's no users in it yet. So I'm going to go over to people. And you're going to see a long list here of all your students. Um, and you are going to be in that list too. It's alphabetical. You'll be buried in there somewhere and you have to find yourself. This is very easy for me because I'm the only person. But you're going to find yourself going to go over to the settings, the gear here, click edit sections, and you're going to add yourself to the anchor section that you just made. So see there's zero people? I'm going to add myself to it. Update. You got to do that or it, it won't work. Okay. Now I'm ready to actually cross list. Go back to settings, sections. So there's my anchor section. I'm there and I'm holding this course on my Blend account now. So I can move my sections out and I'll still have it. So here we go. I'm going to move third period. In order to move third period away, I need something. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to try and cross list the section. But now I need to know where it's going. So I need the course's ID that I'm going to send it to. To get that, go back to my dashboard. Remember, the regular class is the one that I, is my parent class. So I'm going to right click on that and open it in a new tab. When Blend asks me for the course ID, what they're asking for is a five digit code that Blend creates. And that's how it knows all the courses, by this code that it creates. So I'm going to highlight it, I'm going to copy it, 
I'm going to go back to my child course, the one that I'm going to put it into. I'm going to right-click it, and I'm going to paste it in there. And it's going to find that for me. So you can see it kind of comes up automatically, the regular class. That's where I want it to go. And when I click cross-list, it's going to bring that section over there. So now it's actually going to take me to that regular class. So now if I scroll down, click settings, now in my sections, there it is. That inclusion third period is now in here with all my regular classes that I teach. Okay, So I still had one inclusion section that I want to move over. So I'm going to close these out, both of them. I'm going to go back into my child course, open it in a new tab. Now when I look at settings and sections, I've got my anchor section, and now I only have this one fourth period, and I want to move it out. So click on it cross-list it, and I still have that code copied, so I'm just going to paste it again, and there it is, the regular. I'm going to cross-list it, successfully cross-listed, so if I go down to settings, boom, I see my third period inclusion and my fourth period inclusion along with all my regular classes. So now all my kids for eighth grade science are in one place. So that's just about it. Um, the last thing I want to show you is Let's say you made a mistake. You realized that you actually didn't want to send this section over here. Well, then click on it. And again, you'll see lots of kids here. This says no results for enrollments, but you'll see a list of your students. So that's the one difference you're, you're going to notice. But if I hit, if this is a mistake, I want to undo it. If I just hit D cross list, it's going to send it back. It's going to move the section back to its original course, the inclusion one. That's how I would do that. Okay, um, so that's that. That's how you would cross list.